greatest thrills of my life was winning the British Grand Prix. First British Grand Prix to be won by a British car and a British driver. Exactly. I can't tell him. When I when I go around there, I just think I did that. I did that for real. Sterling Moss was a true legend to the sport. In his career, he drove 529 races and he won 212 of those, including 16 wins in Formula One. I'm on my simulator and I wanna try one of his cars that he raced in back in 1955. I've been searching online for hours to see if someone has made one of his cars for the simulator and I found one. I found his 1955 W196 Mercedes-Benz, which he raced in one of his Formula One seasons. Without further ado, let's get into it and see how hard it really is. So we are on a set of Corsa and here is the car, here is the mod, the W196. It's an absolute beauty. As you can see the front of it there, the steering wheels are so nice, you've got the wooden trim. The wheels look so thin compared to the Formula 1 cars now. So Sterling Moss must have loved it. I'm at the Monza 1966 track. I haven't got my gear stick so I'm going to have to use the paddles on the back of the wheel. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Wow. So, wow. These cars have an eight cylinder, four stroke petrol engine. Reach speeds of around 300 kilometers an hour, which is about 186 miles per hour. These drivers back in this day had some serious guts to go and do something like this. Flat out in a car like this and the brakes are terrible. My force feedback is unreal. I can't imagine what it would have been like for him driving one of these back then. I can imagine it would have been insane. Whoa! This is like a workout. You have to brake a little bit earlier in these cars. Otherwise you go straight into that barrier. You feel like you're sliding. As you can see, it looks like you're sliding as well. Right, brake out of here. Otherwise I am going in that ditch all barriers. So in this race, they used to do 50 laps on this track. I think Sir Sterling Moss did a lap time of 2 minutes 46 seconds around here. And the track is 10 kilometers long. Which is long. See, that's how easy it is to go off. The car's got aluminium panels to obviously make it lighter and faster. It's just unbelievable how bumpy this track is. I can't believe that this is what it would have been like for them. Let's see if there's any more angles I can show you guys. There we go. A few more different angles there. As you can see, I'm steering is all over the place because you can feel it just wanted to go left, right, left, right. Let's see if we can do a little donut just to finish off on. That just looks incredible. That brings us to the end of another video. I just want to say Sir Sterling Moss is an absolute legend. I'm sure he was an idol for a lot, a lot of people. And I'm lucky that I'm born in an era where I can race his Formula One car that he raced back in the day. Obviously, it's nowhere near and nothing like what he did, but it's as close as I'm ever going to get. Sir Sterling Moss, you absolute legend.